Hey guys, it's Cassie back again and I have another awesome review for you guys. Um, today's book that I am doing is called White Noise by Troy Diffenderfer. Yes, I said it right. Awesome. <laughs> Sorry Troy if you are watching this. I was trying to make sure I didn't botch your name. Um, but this is a collection of short stories that are based on rock songs. So, for instance, Troy um, has a song in here called The Ballad of Curtis Lowe, which is by my namesake band, Leonard Skinner. I was named after the backup singer. Fun fact. Um, and what he does is he takes those songs and he interprets it into a new story, which, honestly, after reading this collection, I am now going to be thinking of these stories every time I hear the song. Like, it, it can't be undone. Um, but what's awesome about that is they are all like horror thriller, um, kind of like shocking stories. And there was a few in here that I just was, I loved, I wanted to know more. The writing was awesome. And this is also Troy's first um, debut, it's his debut novel of short stories. Um, and it's really awesome. I'm so glad that he put this out in the world for people to see. I know, I'm actually friends with him on Facebook. He was um, someone who went to high school with me. Um, didn't know him personally, but now that I've kind of him on Facebook, you kind of like get to know everyone a little bit personally. Um, but anyway, so just seeing him get this together, um, he was a little nervous at first because, you know, every writer gets a little nervous. Um, but I have to say, Troy, like, I love this book. It was so great. Like, the stories are awesome. The concepts were very different. It left me thinking. I wanted more. Um, so yeah. And I have to say... One of my favorite stories in here, I think, let me look real quick here, is, yeah, my favorite one in this whole collection um, is Call Me, and that's based on the Blondie song. Um, pretty much that story has to deal with a woman who works um, as a phone sex operator, and she's trying to kind of just going about her business, you know, she has her phone on, she's making her calls. Um, you kind of see like how she got into it and kind of a little bit of backstory for her. Um, but then things just go a little sinister and I'm just going to leave it there because I don't want to spoil it for anyone who does want to read this. Um, but yeah, I think that was my favorite. I think it was just because of the sinister side to it and the twist ending that I wasn't expecting. Um, I knew it was going to end something very like dark, but I didn't know it was going to go to that. And pretty much it's at the point where it's like, I need to know more. And I'm kind of like, what happened? Like, it, I don't know. Like, I just, I'm, I just, I love this. I love that story. Like, I loved it. It was so much fun to read. Um, I have to say House, The House of the Rising Sun also came a close second for me because that one takes place in New Orleans. And I've actually went to New Orleans in April for WrestleMania. So it made me think of all the stuff that the culture that I was around, the food, the the people, and it was awesome to kind of see that that kind of made it into the book. Um, and that one I also had a lot of comments. Um, when I read books, I do a lot of little stickies and stuff like that just to kind of like, it's my thought process and then it also helps me with reviews like, okay, what are the main points I want to focus on? And a lot of the stickies that I had in that were like, oh, I remember that and then that story they he talks about the road tr a road trip and how he doesn't want to go on the plane and I was like the road trip is very long because with my New Orleans trip we actually drove straight down um we didn't make any rest stops unless we had to go to the bathroom but the boys that I was with my boyfriend and his best friend who's also good friends with me they took turns driving so it wasn't like someone was driving the whole time and then they would just sleep in between. Um, but yeah, just that story just reminded me of that. And it's also a good song. It's, that's a good song. Like I, I can't lie. Um, the Ballad of Curtis Lowe was also in here. And obviously, like I said, namesake band, um, that one I just liked too, because that was a different interpretation of that song. It, it's, it's not the same as a song, I'm just going to say that. It uses a lot of the same elements, but it's very different, and I really enjoyed that. And I loved how that was the first one that was in the collection, because I feel like you read that, and boom, you want to read the next story. And then that story makes you want to read the next one. So I really like the layout that he chose with the songs. Um, so if any of you are interested, I'm going to give you the little, like, 
a collection of the songs, all the songs that he's using. So obviously I said the Ballad of Curtis Lowe was the first song. Um, Call Me. We have The House of the Rising Sun, um, Pinball Wizard, Ghost, White Noise, Blood Trophies, Jeremy, Take Me Home Tonight, and Zombie. And also there is a link when you get to the playlist, as he calls his chapter section, there is a little, um, I believe it is... A little link there I don't know if it's a sound cloud link or just a playlist link but it links to all the songs so if you haven't heard the song you can hear it or if you want to read along with the song like that gives you that option but yeah they were just all really great um, and for being a first time like writer and that you choose a short short story collection I think that's awesome because I feel like you're kind of reaching out to new readers who may be cautious to read a novel but short stories are awesome in that way because it's little stories that you can put into a book and then that person can kind of get a sense of who you are i don't know if that makes any sense but i feel like it was really great that he, troy did go with that as instead of like making a novel because um, I feel like sometimes with novels, writers sometimes do put a lot of pressure on themselves because they want to top the novel. So I feel like this was great for him to like do a short story, do a whole bunch of them, put them in a collection and just let people see if they liked it. And I'm really excited. I'm excited to see what he does for the future, what other writing he's doing. So I just, I don't know, like I just loved it. It was such such a great little collection, very short. Um Definitely, if you guys are interested, if you go to owlpublishinghouse.com, I'm going to show you on the back of the book here. If you go onto there, that is how you can buy your own um, copy of White Noise. And so, and if you're from the Lancaster, PA area, you're support you're supporting a Lancaster author, which is really awesome. Um, and I don't know, I just I just can't wait um, to read the next work he has. Um, I don't really think there's anything negative that I have to say. Um, I do know there was like some proofreading, like editing kind of mistakes, but that's normal. Um, a lot of authors that I've read books for and like works for, like even the arcs, they're not perfect. They're, they get corrected. Um, but it, did, it wasn't so much, it didn't really bother me. I just feel like that's just one thing maybe in next time with the publishing, maybe just kind of get more people to kind of like give you feedback. I don't know. I feel like that's the only negative thing I gotta say, but writing was awesome. The diff the way that the stories were told, they were all different. They didn't follow the same vein. Um, and in this collection, you have anywhere to science fiction to um, it's like a science science horror kind of genre. To you get a thriller, till you get a um, to like a horror, and it kind of has a nice little blend. Um, but yeah, I just. I really loved it and I really enjoyed it. So thank you again, Troy, for letting me read this. I was very happy to read that. Um, yeah, and I just, I can't wait. So that, that's pretty much all I have to say. I was just very impressed. And definitely this is going to be a book that I read again. Um, also, if you're fans of like Stephen King, any of the, you know, the great horror writers, um, I would say Edgar Allan Poe, H.P. Lovecraft. I feel like this would be a book that would be up your alley. Even if you're not like a horror, like thriller kind of reader, if you just adore music like as much as I do, this is also a book because then you kind of see someone else's interpretation of a song or maybe it's even a song that you know and you love and this is someone else putting their spin on it. Um, but yeah, so again, the book is called White Noise. It's a collection of short stories by Troy Diffenderfer. Um, and like I said, you can get your copy at owlpublishinghouse.com. And if you do end up reading this, you know, let me know what you think. How did you feel about it? Did you have the same opinion as me? And also go support support Troy. Um, he does have a Facebook with his name. If you just try, I think it's uh, Troy Diffender for our author. Um, he also has an Instagram. I believe it's just Troy Diff. Um, I think that's the name. If it's not, correct me, Troy. Um, but yeah, go ahead and give him a follow. You know, he posts some really awesome opinions of books he's read. He's a big reader. Um, a lot of it is the horror, sci-fi, thriller kind of novel. So it's really awesome to see him suggesting that because I don't have a lot of, like, people that read that genre. And it's one of my favorites. 
Um, I love horror movies and everything. So it's really awesome. He posts a lot of awesome stuff. And who knows, maybe he'll start posting pictures of new work that he's doing or, or new books that he's read. And yeah, so awesome. Go ahead and pick up a copy of the book, guys. And thank you so much for watching. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.